Okay, folks, so I am here with a friend of mine and he's got this section of lawn here. I'm guessing from the looks of this, it looks like about 10,000 feet. He asked me to come here and help him with spreading some fertilizer and we're gonna put some humic acid down as well. He's not really um, educated on how to do this and what we need to do and when. So it's gonna rain today, so we wanted to put down an application of fertilizer and this humic acid. So he's uh, put down a bag of this uh, 22 to 12. This is a, I think a winterizer fertilizer or something like that with some iron. We said he put down 50 pounds over this, about a 10,000 square foot section. So I'm calculating that's gonna be about maybe a pound, a little over a pound of nitrogen per thousand. So then we also have several of these bags of humic acid. This is uh, like just the Leonardite shale uh, humic acid stuff. These are 50 pound bags. This stuff does not burn the lawn. And you wanna be putting this stuff down when you're putting down an application of nitrogen. I told him get a lot of this stuff and we'll just put it down heavy and it should be fine. So I'm gonna put maybe two 50 pound bags on this 10,000 square foot section. He's also got some lawn here and then around the corner over there. So he got two bags of the 50 pounds of the fertilizer, which we probably don't need a whole bag over this section. We'll see. And then he got several of the bags of humic acid and we're just gonna dump all the humic acid on the lawn. And then, um, like I said, he's put the fertilizer over there and then we'll do it over here. We're just gonna put this down pretty heavy. And so I'm just, I'm not really concerned about the opening of the hole there. We're just gonna kind of open it up probably about maybe half of the way there. The setting really doesn't matter a whole lot with this situation. We just wanna put it down fairly heavy. So put that in there and then just start spreading. Maybe put another bag in there. So we're gonna put 100 pounds of the humic acid in here. This stuff's like 45%. Uh, this is 45% uh, granular humic acid. This is the Leonardite shale stuff. And this is a, a granular form. It looks like this. This stuff's awesome. I love this stuff. It's not quite like the liquid, but this stuff adds carbon to the soil, which is really good. And it just kind of gives it a long-term um, effect of goodness. So this stuff's awesome. Okay, so while he's spreading the humic acid over here, I'm gonna put some of the fertilizer and start spreading over in this area. Okay, so I'm gonna spread some of this fertilizer over in this section. This is a 22-2-12 blend. We wanna, we're shooting for about one pound of nitrogen per, per 1,000 feet. And, you know, I'm not exactly sure how many feet we've got over here, but it's okay. We're just gonna kinda put it down and Shouldn't burn, we should be just fine. But I'm just gonna go around and just kinda do this. He said he set it to the setting that it says on the bag and that should be fine. So here we go. Yeah. So I've got this spreader here and I've got these small strips. So on the small strips, I'm just kinda walking really slow as it's going through here so it doesn't spray it so far. I don't think this little fertilizer spreader right here has an edge guard or anything like that, which is okay. And it's still okay if we get a little bit on the concrete. It does have iron. It may stain, but not likely. So I wanna take this project on, kinda of help him nurse the grass and try to make it look awesome. And I know with my assistance and with constant kind of care, and just kind of looking after this maybe once or twice a month, we can get this lawn looking awesome by next summer. I know we can do that. It's just gonna, we're just gonna push it with the N and push it with the humic acid and I'm sh I know it'll look awesome. That section over there that he's working on with the humic acid, it is a little bit thin. It looks great from afar, but as you stand and look down, it is a little bit thin. 
but we will get this looking very nice. This is a tall cut lawn. I like a nice tall cut lawn and I enjoy doing stuff like this and helping others. So not getting paid anything for this and I don't really care, that's fine for me. As long as he's willing to buy the product, I am willing to share my uh, knowledge with him and help him do this. He's gonna need an application of uh, weed killer and some pre-emergent. We're gonna do an application of pre-emergent in the spring for sure. So we've got some humic acid in this round and the final difference of that fertilizer. And it might be going down a little heavy, but I'm sure it'll be fine. We just need to water it in really good and hopefully we get some good rain today. And it's gonna be awesome. I know this is gonna turn out good. It is a little bit thin like in here, but that's okay. It will thicken right up. We just need to push it with the N, the nitrogen, and uh, you know, make sure we get a lot of water on it and it'll, it'll thicken right up. So today is October the 2nd and you know, if we just keep kind of pushing it through about November with the water, It'll, it'll look awesome in the spring. It's gonna come up really nice and pretty. And I think we'll see good success. So he's done, we are done. And you know, we just kind of put it down heavy and it's gonna make a difference. So that's gonna pretty well do it for this video. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.